Hi, I'm Eric Wienerholtz from Listen Audio, and we're excited to show off our new S7T Limited Edition. Uh, many of you are very aware of our S7T uh, standard, uh, very highly regarded. And uh, but so you might wonder, what are the differences here? And you know, is it cosmetics, fluff, or you know, what else was changed? Uh, so there's actually quite a few significant changes uh, in driver design, crossover, and then in addition, cosmetics. So the waveguide pretty much stayed as it is, it's the same drivers, except that we have aluminum heat sinks. This is all machined aluminum. So there's a massive amount of uh, heat sink there available to the, the tweeter drivers, expanding their ability to, to play louder with less uh, thermal compression. So that's really cool from the, the waveguide perspective. What's also really cool uh, is that the drivers have about 20% more excursion on the woofers, and also another halving, uh, halving of the inductance. So in, inductance modulation is something that's actually real and a lot of people will talk about. Um, it is a distortion that happens as it moves and the more it moves, the more that inductance modulation happens. Really adds texture, detail, and, and some of those kind of things that are the black art. You know, not necessarily you can point at on a frequency response that makes something better that look good on paper. So if you look at the S7T versus the S7T Limited Edition, you look at those and you're like, they could be two S7Ts, you really wouldn't know the difference. But a lot of the details and the texture and the sound quality really make a difference because of different driver design and the thermal uh, characteristics as well. Um, so then behind that is also 1% tolerance on all of our crossover, uh, completely redone crossover. Uh, versus the S S7T and so those are a lot of the actual real meat and potatoes differences and then we also have the, 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 the final polish on the outside so that's these really cool carbon fiber panels that help give us a little more airspace and volume to get a, a little more uh, low frequency depth and texture. Um, the isoacoustics uh, vibration feet uh, those are super cool and really add a lot of uh, and, you know, not sending energy into the room through vibration, but just acoustically. Um, and uh, then also on the back is really cool. We got these super cool new terminal plates uh, and terminals that are super beefy. We got these little compression rings on them so they squeeze so they don't loosen. And uh, each one's going to be individually signed. Tested, signed, and, and built in the USA. And then we sign off it, share our data sheet, and that goes with the customer. Uh, and then it's serialized. So 50 pair worldwide. And so we're really excited. Those are, uh, uh, and then frequency responses are matched to a half a dB each pair. So super cool, super tight tolerance, and that really makes your imaging all the much better. It is, uh, that's not fluff either. It really makes a, a very big impact into imaging depth and, and details so and i can absolutely attest to that the imaging and the texture there is absolutely a difference absolutely an improvement didn't think such a thing was possible on top of the s7t but it is definitely worth checking out